Hey, we're back on. Okay. Are they allowed to call their mom? Are they allowed to call Andrea? They're allowed to call her, yeah. Is she, are they allowed to send Andrea messages through social media? Yes, they are. When the children, when Aliana and Alicia are with Andrea, are they allowed to call me? Objection beyond this witness's personal knowledge. Right. There's a different question to ask. Do, do Alicia and Aliana call me when they are with their mother? No. Do they send me messages through social media when they are with their mother? Aliana will occasionally, but then it stops. Do I have a problem with co-parenting with Andrea? No. Do you believe Andrea has a problem co-parenting with me? Yes, I do. Do I do I degrade Andrea in front of the children or in any way, shape, or form? No, you do not. Do I talk badly, disrespectfully? Or anything about any of her family members in front of the children? No, you do not. Have I ever told the children that they are entitled to love both sides of the family? Yes, you have. Why do you think Alicia is so confused when it comes to his feelings about me? Objection ass assumes facts, not in evidence. Yeah, what we don't know what those are. <laughs> Do you believe Alicio and Aliana are allowed to show any type of emotion or are allowed to care about me? Objection calls for speculation. Okay. Um, yeah, because you're, you're asking if they're allowed. And you're meaning allowed by mom, correct? So you you're speculating that it's from her, but you can you can approach this topic a different way. So that's sustained and ask it a different way. Was Aliana standoffish towards us and our kids? Yes, she was. Has Aliana had a change of heart? Is she different now? Yes, she is.
don't really even know how to ask questions because then she, you're, you're, you're doing fine. To, like ask questions because she wants to object to them all. So it's kind of no. You're doing fine. I'm like, look, it's no different than the lawyer. Lawyers do the same thing. So you're you just keep asking if it's objectionable she'll object if it's not I'll overrule it and let you keep going or you rephrase it so if there's more you want to ask keep asking if if you're finished then let us know and Ms. McFarling will start cross-examining and then you'll have the opportunity to uh, redirect after Ms. McFarling's questions although I'm not really certain we'll get that far I may just um, suspend the proceedings today, and then I probably have to set a full. It sounds looks to me like I'm going to have to find a full day probably for all for this to finish, because we're clearly not going to get done today. So, but um, I think we're going to need more time and probably more than just an afternoon, given that you're going to testify as my guest, Mom's going to testify, each side's going to ask their own questions, so it's going to take a while. Um, Anyway, so if you have more questions, go keep going. looks at me like a normal kid would look at their parent? No. Do you think I've done anything to Alicio to make him act a certain type of way that he does? No. I'm I'm getting pretty stuck here. I don't really know. What what is the strange type of way? Can somebody tell me what that means? What do you mean? Um it's just I don't know, just I, I just see two different sides, and I know what's been going on, so it's... Uh, okay, so just tell me what it is that you're seeing. Okay, so... I have a stepson, right? And he didn't see his father for many years. But he still loves his father, you know unconditionally. I've been there, you know, for my kids, and for some reason, they, it, it doesn't, I don't know, he sees, pictures me, he looks at me like I'm a bad guy. I don't know how to explain it. He, He thinks I'm this horrible, bad person. I don't, you know, like we, okay, so, we never, we don't, do, we never talk bad about, you know, my, my stepson's dad, right, to, to him, to Travis. And, you know, he loves him, whatever, he, whatever, that's fine, he's entitled to that. But it's not the same with my son. I mean, like he did, he he says like, oh, I wish this person was my dad, or I wish that person was my dad. It's not it's not normal, you know. It's it's years of being and I'm. I'm Pointing fingers to one specific person because I know it ain't. It's not. Um, it's numerous people telling him that I'm just this bad guy, bad person, and that that I'm not his father. That 
Um, I got, I got my other family that they're not my family no more. Just, and so now he's kind of like looks at me different. He doesn't look at me like a normal kid would, like his father. Um, all right, so you have any more questions of your wife? I, think, I can't really come up with any more right now. I think I'm okay. Well, if Ms. McFarling opens the door to something, then you'll be able to redirect um, when she's finished, okay? So let's, you want to get started on her? Oh, so, um, I would like to reserve the right to recall her in my case in chief. Um, it's possible that the questions I, I could ask her right now could just get answered by the parties. In which case, if I recall her later, it, it'll hopefully significantly reduce the amount of questions I have for her. Um, but I'd like to reserve that um, until after, um, until my case in chief. I so I, I don't, I don't plan on asking her questions now, but I do plan on recalling her. So you don't plan on cross-examining her now? Not at this moment, but I, but I plan on recalling her in my case in chief. Okay, so what I would actually like to do then is suspend the, like, stop, take her off the stand, suspend the proceedings now, rather than put it, start an hour of somebody, him or her or whatever, and then just spend the entire day here doing everybody, um, and let you go home a little early. Do you want to schedule now? What's that? Sch scheduling now or, or later? Um, I can look for something now and see what we got going on because uh, I'd rather get it set and then just know that this is what we're doing and we're One very important issue I'd like to go over before the end of this weekend. Okay. Um, Alicio in school. Yeah. Isn't he in school right now? Um, well, he he was enrolled into a different school without my knowledge. I'm so confused. I thought that was the opposite. So is he not? Is he not in the same school that he's been in? No. The school that, um, so Andrea moved. So they were in the public school for her school zone last year. There was a point last year um, near the end of school that Ryan just unilaterally withdrew and put in Somerset a charter school. I remember. Um, and that got corrected. Um, and um, so the children are now in public school in Andrea's zone consistent with last Did year. It's a different school because they can, they're not, no one lives in that zone anymore. So there had to be a change in school, but it's a change from the public school in her zone to the public school in her zone um, with her new residence. Did she tell him anything about yes, that? Yes, there were communications about it. Yes. No? I, I was unaware that she was changing schools when I found out that she changed schools, it was when she said, I think it was two days before school started, mm -hmm. she said, Elicio is now enrolled in this school, whatever, whatever, uh, a mile from my residence. Um, when I changed his school last year, I notified her two weeks before I did it. It's... Okay, so it's, both it's of you need charter. to know you can't do it without telling, uh, uh, at least communicating. You don't just get to do it. Okay. I would, <laughs> so well, that's what I'm I at least communicated, and I was trying. I understand. For two weeks I hear you. To so we'll. To, okay. You know, I got you. A better opportunity for him. All right, I got you. So here's what mm -hmm. we're gonna do. 
We'll talk about this when we come back because I don't, I'm not going to move the child again. But it's no, di I mean, I understand that she moved and so the ch child would, or the children would be in a different school zone, but because of that, it should have been something they discussed before. Okay, well, if that was the case, she moved last school year. She got his own variance to keep him in John C. Bass. Mm -hmm. yes. Why didn't she get, Correct. why didn't she try to put him into the school to where she Zone variance where she yeah. had Correct. She had a zone variance. Didn't Why didn't she get another one? Well, she did not. The, the order stated from our last hearings, it was um, dated till April. So the schools told me, John Bass told me that, you know, he couldn't be enrolled in that school because that order was over. And because, you know, we waited till. What uh, order was over? The order where you said to keep the child in the same school. There was some order in this case that they were using for the variance, and then they order used doesn't the date. Yeah, they well, the school used yeah. the date of the order as their reason for not extending the variance into the beginning of this school year. Yes. So they allowed the uh, uh, a they allowed the children to stay without moving mid school year, but it didn't it didn't extend. Your Honor, she told me the reason why she didn't want him to go to Somerset last year was because she didn't want to move him out of school in the middle of the school year. So here's what your job to is to do. Out, you know, at that school, and I that you can go next year. I hear you. Now, do you have that in Talking Parents, or was that in, uh, was that just discussed between the two of you? That, I believe, I believe that that is in Talking Parents, yes. Okay, so I'm not going to intervene you know, four o'clock on a Wednesday to determine where your child's to go to school. However, you two need to talk about it because if I have to include that as part of what we hear at the next trial date, I will. Because now the child, the children are in completely different schools again. So if there's a school that's better for them, and I'm sorry, but just because I said to keep the child, children in the schools they were, or the child they were, in the one school doesn't mean that you get to then move it, move him to another school just because she moved. I, I don't understand why they didn't ask for me to do some kind of an order saying they need to stay where they were. I, I don't understand does, that. Does Clark County School District honor an order from you? Apparently they honored it before. Apparently they honored it before. I don't know. They honored it before. I was just trying to figure out a way to keep them where they were so that that they didn't have to be bounced around. I get it. Look, at the end of the day, the zone moves. But the question becomes, in whose zone does the child or the children go to school? And that has not been determined. And if they don't agree, then it needs to be addressed. And it can't be addressed by one deciding to move the, chi the child one year and then one just unilaterally you know, doing it the next and thinking that's okay because it's not. So... <sighs> you know, I just have a few more things to say. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have two other children that go to Somerset okay, okay. that are in the same grades, okay? I, and the, the mileage, it's in between, Somerset is in between both of our residences. Okay. By, it's like almost right down the middle. Okay. It's off by like maybe two miles. The school he's going to right now is 23 miles away from my residence one way, okay? That's 46 to drop him off at school and 46 to pick him up. So that's, how far did your client move from where she was before? That's like 90 miles. Hold on. I get it. Hold. Well, how far did she move? Um, maybe 15 minutes away from where you see About 15 minutes away from where she was. No. How many miles? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that. I don't think anyone's ever mapped it to have a number for you. Because... That's a lot. How much, how long how far were you driving before? Um uh, 40, 40 a day or was it no 80 like 82 a day cuz it was 41 like to 41 round? No. Yeah, that, to drop them off and then another 40 to pick them up. At the other so school. It, yeah, so it was like 80 miles a day when I have children that are in the same grade that go to school at the same time across town. It doesn't work for me. So if he's gonna stay at the school he's at now, I'm not gonna be able to keep him week on, week off, 
and take them to school. It's not, it's not, not only is it not doable because they go to school at the same time. But how, does, how does Somerset work differently? You, you also had asked about the, the timeshare with Aliana and stuff earlier. Um, both of our requests, whether you do joint or primary, um, involve a timeshare that's a split week, not a week on, week off, mm -hmm. and Ryan having the majority of weekends. And one of the reasons for that is is the school issue. And so, you know, not, not looking at the amount of time, but just how you divide up the weeks. Um, generally, we think a split week, um, weekdays, weekends, uh, works best logistically. Well, I guess if you're traveling 90 miles a day, it might be better, but I still need to address this issue because neither of them is a lot, neither of them is entitled to just make that unilateral decision. So I don't know how the, the issue could be brought up and raised against him and then t the opposite happens with her where she just makes that decision without his input. So, Your Honor, um, she's, she said that um, basically on my week, you know, I've got to, I got to do it and it's not going to, I cannot do it. I can't. Not only is it. Well, don't you both? I mean, one of you can help the other. Yeah. Can I? So, can I? Car. Can I say something? We hold on, hold on. Because I'm the one that primarily takes them to school. Well, we. I understand there's the issue, but the question becomes, what are you doing now while the school is, I mean, started? So you're doing something to get them there. Right? Yesterday he had an appointment with a urologist, mm -hmm. so I got a note for that. And today we're here, so I wasn't. I didn't have anybody to. So know, did school just start yesterday? No, two a days ago. A week ago. A week ago. ago. That was her but week. that was her she week. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And now, like, she said, "Oh well, it's your week. You got to figure it out." And it's not going to happen. I cannot take him to school across town and pick him up. We were requesting that she met us halfway to pick up Alicia. Like, if she could meet us halfway, meet me halfway to pick up Alicia in the morning and meet me halfway to drop him back off, that that would be easier to do. Because it, it is how very close hard. Is, how stress. close is that? Uh, I, I just want to object to Nicole being engaged in the... I'm the one taking them trying to school. resolve the issue. Uh, we can be technical and find real quick. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. How close is the school to her? Closest in her zone. Mm -hmm. okay. One point one miles mapped across the street, across the freeway. Ms. McFarling, my suggestion mm -hmm. would be to change the temporary timeshare. Um, I don't, I'm not suggesting saying, hey, let's go and change the amount of time at this stage because I know we're close to the end, but changing the specifics because right, uh, that would be my suggestion. But how is it okay that your client made this decision without communicating because that? Because bad. Clark County School District would not allow the, a child to remain in a zone after that, but, she moved out of But it. how is it that she didn't discuss with him? She did. She did. There was communication about it. And there was it. no agreement. And, and keep in mind but you're quick to file a motion when he makes a, when he does something without her input, but then yet allow her to just make the decision uh, without his input as opposed to filing a motion saying, hey, judge, we need you to make a decision on this. So now we have a kid who's now even farther away from dad in terms of the location. Why can't she share in the transportation since this decision has now been made with or without their input? And that way, at the at the in the morning or in the evening, they can exchange somewhere halfway. I, I don't know how else to do it right now because I'm not changing the schedule. I don't know. I I'm not changing the schedule right now. What about Aliana's school? You're not changing that either. Is I that? don't know. What What's the story with Aliana's school? Her school's not changing. She's she still was the approved. Still the same yeah, one. she was approved there, and she's going there because of you know her achievements and everything so that's where she's going okay so I think we're just gonna have to do it where they share in the transportation for now they messages. come back because I, I don't know how to do it telling your uh, your family over there about moving to Durango she what's that? hold on 
Hold on, Nicole. Hold on. Nicole, right? Correct? Yes. What were you saying, Mr. Geraldo? Um, would you like to see this? It's the Instagram post. No, no. We'll deal with it when we come back. I, look, at the end of the day, we need to just address the issue. Right now, Band-Aid at this point. Where's the halfway point? Halfway point is Somerset. <laughs> I don't it know. is literally it's like directly in the middle. I can't just make this. I can't just change. I'm not going to change anything right now, but I'm. I'm going to hear from everybody as to what their pitch is as to where the children should go to school or where their child should go to school. Not only that, he's not doing good in the public school. He's not doing good at all. Okay, well, you're going to tell me about it when we come back because maybe by then you'll have some. Uh, You'll have some uh, reports from school as to how he's doing there. Halfway point, besides Somerset, or maybe you do Somerset, I don't know. Where is that, where is that Somerset? Bethany and 215. Bethany and 215. Right by the R.C. Willie. Where is, like, Aliana School? I live on that. Halfway is Aliana School? Aliana, Aliana, Aliana School is, is exactly like, like halfway. How far from, like... But she gets out earlier, 18. right? No, no, we're not talking about Somerset. From her house, from her apartment, Where do you Taliana live? School is like 18 miles. From our apartment, Taliana School is like 18 miles. It's I mapped it. So Aliana School is like the midway point yeah. between the two places. And they, like can they do the exchange that. there? At Silverado? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yep. That's what we're going to do then. All right. I don't understand why you want a better education at all. I don't understand it. What's that? It's a better opportunity for Look, you. look I I, really today is not the day. Right now is not the time. I hear you. You need to talk to her about it, or you're going to pitch it to me when we have a trial and a, another day, and we'll figure it out. But. Everybody needs to be open-minded and determine what's best for Alicio, and I guess we'll get to see how he's doing in this new school, and maybe, um, and maybe in the interim, y'all can work this out. I keep saying that. I don't know why it hasn't happened yet, but nobody listens. Um, You can step down, by the way. All right, so. Um, so, Elysio's school is 9 a.m. to 3.20. Mm -hmm. And a half an hour, meet a half an hour before and after? What's the, I just want to have something up in the air with time. 20 minutes, yeah. 20 hour. minutes? 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah. So, what time are we going to meet? So, 8.30 and 3.00. 45. That work? 8:30 and 3:45 to to pick up Alicio and Eliana. I'm just looking for dates on my calendar. September and October are just jammed up because everybody continued their trials. Like everybody. <laughs> so now I'm completely jammed. Okay. Um, we could do October 11th. I mean, that that month is so. I mean, it would just take the whole day. Are you, what's that? 
Yeah, okay, so the soonest date I have that's really probably the best option is October 11th, which is like six weeks away. Um, I can do that. Can you do that? Okay. Dad, can you do that? October 11th? And we'll start in the morning. 9 a.m.? Yeah. And so I just take away all the other hearing dates that morning, that day, and just make it a trial day. And there was a discussion at the beginning that they were have been doing week on week off with both kids. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, are they going to continue to do that? That's my question. If so, then we, then we should put it do an order that has that detailed in it. Okay, I say let's do it. The prior order had two different schedules for the two right because uh, but then it, uh, it had a caveat was... for her though that said that mm -hmm. she could do this if she wanted. Yeah, something like that. there wasn't. It, yeah. it wasn't. It is in the prior order. Oh, really? I think it was, but but um, <laughs> what, uh, let's just make it that that's what they're going to do. That way, everybody knows where they're supposed to be at this point. Since she's not objecting, and I think that's probably best. Um, so that way, everybody's going the same time, same place. And so, if Ms. McFarling, if you want to do that in a temporary yes. order, pending the uh, next hearing, and then we'll talk about the school issue too. At the hearing. Um, pardon? Not over. Okay. So you're going to have, and that's why I just said you're going to have making her travel halfway, and then we're going to have a discussion about what school's best for him, and you're going to have some time under your belt to see how he does at this school. If he does great, great. If he doesn't do so well, then we have something to talk about. Okay. So, and then we can also talk about logistics and whether that plays into the whole picture. Because it might be too burdensome for her mom. She might think that's not the best idea. Maybe Somerset is better. I don't know. Mom, would you look into Somerset too while we're on break so that we can, yeah, um, okay, so that we can, uh, you know, have an intelligent conversation about what's what with Somerset versus the school that he's in now? No, okay. It wasn't about making her travel. I'm not saying that it was. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing now. It's a Band-Aid, okay? And we're going to talk about it with, in more detail when you come back. And like I said, you're going to have some time under your belt where he's going to be at the school. You're going to see how he does. If he does great, then that's a good thing. If he does poorly, then we have to address it either way. So that's the Band-Aid. That's the order. I think that it should work. It's only another six or seven weeks, and then we'll be back here. And then we'll have the whole day to put everybody else on, and we should be finished with no problem. Okay? All right. Yeah. I, I just feel like it's, it's the same thing with his, his medical issue. You know, he's, he's been suffering for over a year, you know, and I've been trying to get it fixed, and for some reason I can't. And I'll hear about it when you come back no, in here. No, it's rolling over into his school now. Same thing. He's, he's failing his class, kicking students, misbehaving. She what are you talking about? This year? Last year, at the end of last year. Okay, well, she said he can go. She said he can go to Somerset. Talk to her about year. it. What's that, mom? Yeah. So, so look. If you be persuasive and maybe um, talk to her about what the benefits are rather than just being, you know, frustrated, persuade her that it's a great place for him. I don't know. That's why she said he can go there this year. Okay, Dad, you, we can argue all day. I'm just I'm telling you how. I know. I'm just telling you. It's not going to happen today. I can only do so much today. I'm not going to make the change. Because, look, at the end of the day, I have to hear from everybody about what makes sense, and then I have to make a final decision. There's no way, not a chance, that I'm going to change him today and then maybe change him again next time. So we're going to leave him where he is, and then we'll deal with it when we get, to get here next time, okay? Because he doesn't need to be bounced around yet a third time. So that's my order. I'll look to you to submit one for me on the, for the temporary scenario and we'll go from there. Yes? We're going to say? <laughs> I said no. <laughs> um, the, the thing that popped into my head was um, 
his statements about Elicio's relationship with him and not seeing him as a dad. I don't know if that triggers an interest in doing a, a child interview. I don't know if I'm no. asking for it, but it popped into my head as a... No. No. Uh, no. I think when all this stuff settles down, things will get back to... Um, you want a child interview? Aliana can do another one. We're just going to leave it. I, I may ultimately determine it to, to be done, but for now we're going to leave it be. We're just going to come back. Everybody's going to make their case. I believe that, you know, if she's doing better and going to your house a lot more time, then great. We're going to leave it that way. Week on, week off for both of them. So that's my new order. And I'll see you next time. And I just wish you did what's wrong, and she's sorry about that. Hey, Dad.